This training video is brought to you by K Alliance. K Alliance is the 21st century's educational corporation specializing in the most comprehensive enterprise training solutions, ranging from e learning to instructor led training. Press play for success. After watching this video, be sure to become a Facebook fan to receive the latest updates, promotions, and course releases. You can also subscribe to our YouTube channel to preview the latest desktop, soft skills, and IT training videos. When you're typing inside of Microsoft Word, you might have a few habits that you can now break. Here's one of them for those of us who learned how to type on a typewriter. Because typewriters are monospaced, which means every character takes up the same amount of space, we were taught to double space at the end of a sentence to give it a little more breathing room so people can see that you've finished a sentence and to make your paragraphs look better. Well now, because fonts take up exactly the amount of space that they need, we no longer have to double space at the end of a sentence. So for some of us, a little bit of changing in our typing habits. For others, you already have known that because you started learning on a computer when you started typing. A second thing to remember about typing on a computer is that when you get to the end of the line, if you want the words to go on to the next line, you just keep typing. Don't do anything, just keep right on typing. And you don't actually hit your enter key until you get to the end of a paragraph. And when you get to the end of a paragraph, then you hit your enter key. So let's go take a look at this. I'm going into a Word document, and what I did is I made the font huge, right? I made it size 28 so you wouldn't have to watch me type so much, and I guarantee you I'll make some mistakes. So watch what happens when I keep typing. Do you see my cursor flashing at the end of the first line? Let me just point to it here with the mouse, just above my mouse there. So when I keep, see how it wraps around? Here we go. Here it's going to go on to the next line. Awesome, right? And one space at the end of a sentence. No more two spaces at the end of a sentence. Okay, okay, oops, I meant to say okay. So what happens when you make a mistake like that? Backspace. You just use your backspace key and backspace and then keep right on typing. Also, let's make an intentional mistake. I'm going to try to type the word this, but I'm going to have my keys, my fingers over one key. Oops, that's a mistake. Again, backspace to take it off or tis instead of this, we also can get red wavy lines. Now, when you get the red wavy lines, what happens is it's telling you that there's a potential spelling error. But what I want you to notice is I meant to get a spelling error with tis, but tis is a real word. So it didn't come up with a red wavy line because it's saying, you know, you've got a real word there. So as you're working and as you're typing, just remember you're going to get red wavy lines when you have spelling errors or potential spelling errors, green wavy lines when you have grammar errors, and blue wavy lines when word is trying to suggest a different word that they think might fit better in that particular sentence. So break those habits if you're a two space at the end of a sentence typer. You only need one space. Keep typing when you get to the end of a line and let it wrap around. Use your enter key when you are at the end of a paragraph and you want to go on to the next paragraph. Use your backspace key when you've made a mistake and you want to fix it. And then if there's spelling errors or grammar or word choice errors, you can just leave those and go back and fix those with the spell check if you'd like to. But as you're typing, I know that you're going to find that you will get your own little niche on how you do things, and you're going to be really great at using Microsoft Word.